Hi, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to EGE 102 course online. And uh, this course is completely online and uh, you need to get on with your angel page to see the course listing. And when you log on, you will see the courses that you are taking on the left side. Get to the course that you are interested in. First, it opens the page with resources where the course announcements will be shown, typically. And um, I am just going to review briefly how this course is going to be administered over this semester. So most of the material that you need for the course, uh, in fact, all the material is posted on this web page here. And all you need to do is click on this course overview and this gives you an introduction of the course, uh, introduction to basically the objectives and why we're here today. Uh, the, this course is designed to gain basic understanding and appreciation of energy efficiency and also to understand how the devices that we use in everyday life work and uh, what are the ways in which we can increase the efficiency so that we can save energy and money. And if we save energy, obviously we are saving the environment because we don't emit the pollutants uh, that typically we would emit. So that is basically our course uh, objectives, if you will. And um, if we want to look at how it is structured, uh, it's basically structured like if you go to the course page, home page, this is out of Angel, it is out of eEducation Institute that we offer this one here. So you have the course syllabus here where you can see the details about uh, my office and the telephone number where I can be reached at and, uh, and where my office location is, etc. All right, and uh, you can read all this material here. And for this course, you do not re need any kind of textbook or anything. Mo all the material that is required is posted on the web page here. And uh, if you look at the course overview, I mean, which I have already described, our objectives are listed here and what I expect. Uh, from you. Typically, it takes about 8 to 10 hours per week uh, for all the assignments that you have to do and to go through the notes, etc., uh, that is posted. And uh, that is the typical uh, time requirement. And uh, if you look at the course materials required, you do not need anything. It's already posted on the web. And uh, Typically, a lesson begins on a Sunday and then it ends on a Saturday, which means you have one week to go through the lesson and take the quiz during that week at any time. All right, the quiz must be completed on Saturday, on Saturday night. Typically, if it is one week lesson, it opens on Sunday and it closes uh, on uh, Saturday. There are, however, you know, three or four lessons that are uh, two-week lessons, which means a quiz opens on a Saturday and um, on, a, uh, on, on Sunday, typically, with, with the lesson. And then the quiz will be due the following Saturday, not the immediate Saturday. Uh, and there are ten lessons. 10 quizzes, okay? And uh, there are two week lessons in between, so total 10 lessons are distributed over 14 weeks of classes. And uh, there are three midterm exams in between, and also there are six home activities which are in lieu of uh, basically homework, okay? They are spread out throughout the semester. And the grading system is also listed here. Quizzes are about 20% of your grade. Midterm exams are 30%. And home activities are 25% of your grade, 
which is the homework and final exam is 25 percent of your grade and this is an extra credit that i will be talking about later on this is something that you do not have any control this is only through message board participation it is like class participation so this is totally based on how many posts uh, you do over the semester not in in the first one week or in the last you know, week you know posting five or six and you know suddenly uh, and this is for extraordinary participation this is not for normal postings you know one or two or where is this quiz or I can't see this when will this quiz open or when will this home activity be graded those kinds of questions will not fetch any kind of extra credit you need to actually look for some sort of interesting articles interesting uh, material that is related to our course elsewhere and provide a summary of those things as a course posting in in the message board and on the message board if you post these things over the semester continuously throughout the semester then based on the number and based on the quality of these postings I will be assigning the extra credit and not even one email will be entertained about this particular part of it all right these required ones account for about 100% so you can read all this material and and be prepared and the structure if you look at uh, we have talked about the assignments and grading and uh, and also if you look at uh, the uh, grade distribution you can see this is totally absolute grading if you get 93% you've got an A if you have 92.9 percent it is 92.9 percent which is an A minus it they will not be rounded up uh, to a 93 so be careful about that and course schedule if you look at as I mentioned there are about 10 lessons and for each lesson there will be a quiz after one or two lessons your homework or home activity will start and uh, usually you will be given uh, one week to perform that home activity or homework and uh, every month you will have a midterm exam typically you know first exam is in February second one will be March and third one will be in April uh, or you know the first one will be in September October November the third one so that's how these are spaced these exams now let's get to the actual uh, course policies or technical requirements if you go through those technical requirements uh, you can see here you need uh, you know a good browser that you can and uh, Firefox or if you are using a Mac Safari or Internet Explorer but you need to have a math player plug-in you can check that out with, uh, you know very easily whether you have the required ones uh, or not so that is basically our course requirement and, and if you look at um, uh the all right uh most of the material that are required as i said are available on angel and if you go back to the uh angel uh calendar it'll list all the due dates etc for example in spring semester we are starting classes on the 13th um and um, lesson one will be assigned and also quiz one will open along with lesson one and uh, first thing that you need to do is read the syllabus thoroughly from top to bottom and then take a quiz on the syllabus note that this quiz will not be counted for your grade it only unlocks the material uh, course material so that you can proceed with other lessons and lesson opens on uh, on a Monday here because this class these classes start on Monday and then quiz one typically would be due on Saturday here Saturday night uh, however it is not due this time for lesson one because still 
people will be adding and dropping. So this quiz, instead of being due on the 18th, it will be due on the 25th, which is the following Saturday, along with lesson two quiz. So this would be after the drop uh, add deadline. So and those who add a little late will not have any extra time. They, uh, that is how I am sitting here. You will have to catch up in these extra time that you have here a couple of days and then still get up to speed here and finish lesson one and two by the 25th or by the end of second week and the third week you have lesson three starting and also the home activity which is your homework it is assigned on the Sunday and it will be due on the following Saturday. So the following Saturday happens to be 1st of February. So it is due on 1st of February here. Okay. Home activity and also lesson three quiz. And uh, exam one, which will be assigned uh, depending on the section in which you are in, if you are off campus, in other words, if you're a world campus student or other campus students, it'll start, it'll open on Thursday and it will end on Saturday, Saturday night. If you are on campus taking online courses, then the entire week will be uh, there, but there are certain slots you will have to take the exam under uh, controlled atmosphere in uh, e-testing center and you will have to sign up for a day that is suitable for you and you need to take the exam uh, on campus in that um, testing environment. So every week you will have to do the lessons once in a week or two you will have a homework assignment and once in three weeks or four weeks you may have a midterm exam that's how it goes on and on until the entire course content is finished and if you need to communicate with me this is the best way to communicate which is you send an email mark to all faculty uh, mark to all faculty here uh, and through angel only all right through angel only when you click on here it'll say you know all, all course faculty and you can you can click here and say okay and send a message to all faculty that's how all emails will be looked at and uh, you can always look at your grades and uh, things like that on these uh, on the on, on this tab and uh, most of the material that you need will be available here on this um, on this angel and you can check your syllabus again here too again you know, syllabus course requirements etc that we have gone through if you have any questions or anything please do not hesitate to even call me my cell phone is listed if you do not get an email back from either me or TAs there will not be any other instructors I am the instructor and there may be a, an email message from TAs sometime the replies if you do not get a reply please do not hesitate to contact me uh, either by telephone uh, my cell phone number uh, is posted and or you can stop by my office which is 124B Hostler building and even if you are taking course online you have access to my office and office hours so they are listed there please do not hesitate to call me or talk to me and I wish you all good luck and um, get started with the course.